never ever buy Velcro. It's a total ripoff. Uh, thank you to Ruben Hernandez. Uh, also today my therapist told me I have extreme difficulty in picking up social cues. I think she's in love with me. I'm not sure. I, I think so. Well, welcome to Shaven Butcher and today I'm bored. <laughs> We've been working from home all day. I don't get out. I'm bored. So I'm gonna do another shaving video and this one is the idea I have. We'll see how it turns out is I'm gonna take you through the whole process that I have internally and externally when I do a shave. So uh, if I do things in the proper order, the first thing I do is I pick a brush. Mm. Yep, here are the brushes, at least some of them. I do have another house, you know, because I do, and I have some gear there. But these are most of the brushes I have. There's the Laugar one. There's the Leaf, by the way, the Paladin, a few Matti brushes, this one and Grey Dog brushes, very nice. The Shave Mac one I got from MTB. This one is cool. I think we'll choose this one. This is the Franken Matti uh, brush with uh, a bit of bore. So do that, put that into a bit of a soak. There's me. Hello. Uh, soak stuff is here. There's the soap, what's left of it that I clean my face with. And here's the, uh, what is it? Dapper Dan. The only thing I use this for is to soak the brush. So I put a bit of water in. Because then I can do other things and this thing can, can soak while I'm prepping the other stuff. Yeah, it's, maybe I should do a little more. Ah, it doesn't matter. That, that will be fine. Next up is razor. So choosing razors is, uh, is tricky. Here's the Hakahola, la la, whatever it's called, Japanese <laughs> kitchen knife. So I have a few in here simply because they don't fit. This is this is my wife's grand, great grandfather's. This is the art razor. And uh, this is the, the Drew Dick thing. Uh, it's packed up. And there's, uh, yeah, there's a few others. And then we have a few in here and they're quite nice and it's, it's overflowing. There's the Tori, maybe this one. This one is cool. And then I have a few in here. Here's the new edition, the Wade and Butcher. Here's the, the big chopper. So either the pretty spine, the half, what is it, half, half man, or maybe Japanese. Maybe the Baba, the Baba racer. Let's go for that. So uh, next up, uh, stropping. Yeah, I'm not going to go through stropping at any at any length. I'll just do a few laps. I think I will do. I'll do a hundred. But I'm certainly not going to show that on camera because that's going to take a while. When you have a hollow razor, you basically listen for the sound. Also, I make predominantly X strokes or a bit of an X simply because 99% of all razors aren't perfectly even, although you can't see it. And the strop certainly isn't perfectly even. So if you go back up and down only, you may lose a, some part of the racer um, when you strop. So, I mean, I do it. I do this to make sure this way everything gets covered. So, yep, keep going. I'll see you in a bit. Next up, soap and afters. So there's all kinds of rubbish here. There's the Mitchell's wool fat, soaps, uh, a razor, stuff mixed up. 
is a bit of aftershave sort of sort of things. <clears throat> There's loads of soaps down here as well, packed. I go through them every every once in a while just to see what what there is. You know what? <clears throat> Got this from my buddy Scott. Scott Scott Owl. It's from Sheffield. So let's use that. And what do we have? Afters. I don't have a lot of smelly smell stuff because I typically use the perfume after it, but I You know what? Although I won't use the soap, I'm gonna go with night music as afters. That has nothing to do with the scent of that soap, but then the scent of the soap goes away. So da -da -da, and then I'm gonna need a balm. So it's gonna be the the secret balm. The serum. Here are toothbrushes. Ah, interesting. Okay, uh, razor. Um, yep, I think we got our stuff. So now we'll continue with the shave. Whew, back in <clears throat> the normal environment. Feels good, doesn't it? Less wobbly, yeah? So what I'm doing next is, <clears throat> um, washing my face and I always use this. This is from Grön Lycke, um, the lady I made an interview with a while back. This is Moroccan Detox and it, it's a nice smell. Cedar wood and something called Litsia Cubera, which I can't remember what it is. <clears throat> so I have a little piece which I will use. I'll, I'll just show you the soap, my extra one. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Lovely scent. This has charcoal in it, <clears throat> and it's a very charcoaly feeling um, when you wash. Does that sound stupid? If, if you've tried charcoal soap, you will know what I mean. This cleans the skin really deeply and nicely. The charcoal is supposed to, I can't remember, <laughs> maybe it's the charcoal or something else that keeps it, that keeps the skin from getting too dry. It's a very, very nice feeling. You can use this whenever you want to and anywhere on the body, I, I guess, but it's not, it's not for free. And um, uh, Karina recommends this as a pre-shave product. So I'll use that. <clears throat> I'll do that off camera because you do know how, how to wash, I hope. And when, I, when I'm done with that, I put a, a teeny bit of moisturizer, anything really onto my face and I keep it there just a little bit and that's to condition the skin somehow and I keep it on while I do my head shave which I'll do off camera too because god with a leaf razor with some feather something blades in it you guys care about blades I don't know I got them from Matti I think and when I'm done with that I'll revert and We'll do a normal shave. And the uh, head mission was uh, so completed successfully. So now there is the soap. It's a little soap and it says, it says Edwin Jagger, Jagger shaving soap, which is what it is. And here's the brush. I, I discovered that it's a pretty poor fit <laughs> because this this huge knot is very big. With a little, little soap, we shall manage. Yeah, it's a good thing it says Edwin Jagger shaving soap. Imagine if it had said Edwin Jagger bicycle helmet, and then you would have gone. But why? Why you bicycle helmet? You are a soap. I'm a little crazy. South uh, Yorkshire crazy man. Is anything on the dam? It was very frothy before when I did the head, but I think now I've just simply softened the soap so, so it's not frothy anymore. I have no idea if I have enough because it was really different. I have loads here. Shall I put that on? What I forgot to do is to wet my face and 
you don't have to, of course. I tend to because I put on that moisturizer and then I want to wash that off. But let's let's see. Yeah, this is very different. When I loaded first, uh, the soap was hard and I had a... Uh, I had a... Um, that other Sheffield soap, no Yorkshire soap. What the f Mitchell's wool fat feeling very frothy, and uh, this is just toothpaste. <laughs> it's spot on toothpaste. I think we lost a no, we didn't. With, with this spore brush, every, every hair is thicker. Or coarser or what than a synthetic or a bore. So you get the, the lines like this. I can draw a. I'm not going to tell you what I thought I would draw because that would just be childish. So we're going to need quite a bit of water and I will have learned nothing from, from leathering my head because this is quite different. I wonder if they're made in, actually made in Sheffield. Does it say? You're supposed to write that on it. Yeah, made in European Union. That's not true anymore. But may, that's what they write when... Is that even allowed? Shouldn't you write the country? So, that's not... I don't think. Scott, if you're watching, is that made in Sheffield? I think not. It'll be made in... From cheapo country like Romania or something. So a bit of water, not enough. But let's beat it up meanwhile. Oh, we're gonna need loads, loads of water. Interesting. I guess I mean I never really bloom soups, so soups. <laughs> soaps, except sometimes for minutes or so. I put some lukewarm water onto the mutual wool fat. I don't notice any difference, but this, this has been, you know, this soap has been wet for quite a while. So that's the equivalent of a proper, proper soaking, proper blooming. And then it's just a whole different leathering experience. Interesting. Because uh, I, I have no strong opinion. I, I very rarely f feel the need to, oh, it's wet in there. She said, that's what she said. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Lip stains. Why did I think of Shut your mouth, she said. Did, did, did. No, it's, isn't that China Girl? It's, I don't know, 1983, Let's Dance album. <laughs> Little China Girl. Baby, just you shut your mouth. Nice, still a bit dry. My favorite from that album is, is Modern Love. Do you have a favorite from the Let's Dance album? It was my first David Bowie record. One of, it was actually my first ever LP, 1983. Grew up in the countryside, we didn't have records, we barely had electricity, and then I was 10, moved to town, and it was like, oh wow, pretty girls, people had records, it's a whole new world. And I had this ridiculous accent, countryside, I'm not gonna tell you where <laughs> my head's from, just offend some Swedish people, still think it's ridiculous. 
um, and then, but that it was cool. It was uh, it was one of those area. What do you call uh, areas where, where with houses? Well, uh, the, um, what do you call like block houses, chain houses? So about seven, ten in a row, every single one painted in the same color, and there there was just a thousand people, two thousand. I don't know. Huge, very much a 70s project. I'm having quite a bit of fun with this with this soap. It's really behaving rather nicely. And then first day that I moved in, after an hour or less of unpacking, there was a boy outside, my age, with a football under his arm and says, Hi, my name is Niklas, do you want to play? And the rest was just, you know, he walked me around, everybody was out, it was a beautiful summer day. And boom, in an hour I had met the, th uh, the other 29 people in my, in my class. Because everyone, everyone but two went, came from the same area. Yeah, I should be grateful to that guy. And then, uh, yeah, it was fantastic. I had such a good childhood. Um, so we can't blame that. Baba Racer, this is what it looks like. It's in such pristine condition. Swedish steel, and it's, uh, uh, what is it called? No, it's not that one, I don't know. It's a Hashi Rashi or something. Beautiful little thing. Let's go. Use this in a while. It doesn't have the, the best edge, so the, maybe the stropping made a difference. Yeah, quite possibly. I think it needs a bit of a hone. Honing. was up this night it's it's a growing old thing I wake up every night sort of three o'clock uh, can't go back to sleep it's more, and, and something's aching always so I can't read a book you just go back to sleep so I have to get up what I do usually because I can't go I need to be up for a while is I watch Hockey, NHL. So I was watching one period of uh, Ottawa Senators versus uh, who the hell did they, um, Calgary Flames. You know, and I can barely see because my eyes are sleeping. So dumb. So tonight I'm hoping I wake up at four instead of three, because at four, my team plays, the Habs. How can you support the ball? I do. Montreal is quite possibly my, no, I was gonna say my favorite town in North America, but there are, there are several. North America has some great towns and I have, haven't even been to most of them, but it's nice. I like Montreal. Montreal as a tourist, or you're there for business, is fantastic. Montreal in the winter is a, is a bit cold, and there's Two meters of damn snow all the time, all over Quebec. That was quite nice. It is such, it is such a, a such a good-looking razor. 
So I'll, I'll do the second pass against the train. We'll see what it feels like. I may send it off for a touch-up. I think I've done something with it. Pores dropping or something. Now, if I honed myself, I would just put it on the stones and fix it, hopefully. But I don't hone myself, so I have to send it off. And I would like to meet up with my Honemeister. But it is Corona time, so not the best thing to do. I don't want to send that beautiful kitchen knife to him. So, we'll see. Soon, it's gonna get, it's pretty bad Corona-wise in Sweden, and it's gonna get worse uh, because people had sports, sports leave and then we, we do silly things and we infect each other. I want to be like, like those protester guys from Saturday for whom Corona, the coronavirus doesn't exist. That would be handy. You can do whatever the hell you want. You know, this is pretty good. Stallion, a hundred laps did made a difference. Brilliant. Um, Jim from Jim Will Shave commented on the previous video that maybe it makes more of a difference making a hundred laps if you have carbon steel than stainless steel. You might, you maybe, I don't know. Carbon steel maybe is softer. Very good. Tomorrow I have a, a video call with people from I think they're from Saskatchewan, at least that's a project. They may, they may be from Vancouver actually, but it's, it starts at 8 p.m. So, and I wanna look good, I'm gonna put a shirt on. So my plan is to shave <laughs> before that. So around this time tomorrow. Maybe we'll see you then if I'm bored. Nice slick soap. Fun to lather. I find it a little bit drying compared to uh, other soaps. Doesn't matter because I put a balm on, but so you know. I wonder if there's an Ed Edwin Tiager factory somewhere or if someone's making these for them. Oh, come on. That's the stroke I struggled with. Cool, very good, very nice. Yeah, good, good racer. That doesn't need to be sent for honing, I think. Such a good looking racer. A lot of Japanese racers look similar in, in their design. And, uh, and they're pretty. It's just very efficient, very, feels very Japanese. Nice. Designed, well designed, well thought through, and no, no fuss, basically. Japanese.
Saskatchewan. One day I'm going to learn to spell to Saskatchewan. Or maybe I won't. Canadian cities are nice. The ones I've been to. Quebec, I've been to a lot. Montreal, I've been to Toronto a few times. Really cool. Um, with Ottawa. Really like Ottawa centers and the harbor area. Is it harbor? Feels like it, I think so. Vancouver is cool, really cool. Saint Felicien. If you know, you know. Voila! That's it. That is the shave. Let's see how that, what that felt like. So, yeah, I rinse warm, not super warm, but warmish. Because warm gets the soap off more easily than cold. So I make sure I get all the soap off. And then I switch to cold, because cold is nice, it feels good, it calms the skin, it closes the small, small weepers. Mm, maybe it is going for a touch-up after all, possibly. When you have a racer, where there is no reason why it's not perfect. So it's not 200 years old and looks incredible. Night music, I'm sure. Then it's annoying if it's not perfect. Okay. So, night music. Have you smelled or tried night music? How do you feel about it? It's, it's, it's I was going to say it's hard to describe, it's, it's not, it's easy to describe, it's musk and vanilla, which is such a, such an odd mixture. Ooh, burn on the head, interesting. Huh. I think it's because the soap doesn't moisturize very much, which again, doesn't matter. Uh, that dried quickly. Secret bomb. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, Leo. Don't tell anyone, you see. Okay, I will. Yeah, going for a touch up. The serum is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's sort of, for me, if I'm outside two hours a day and it's minus six like it was today, it's cold today, then it's sort of borderline not thick enough. Um, but it's, it's okay. But for 95% of the time, it's spot on. And for people who, uh, who don't like when it's too gooey and, and too sticky afterwards, this is brilliant. Then it goes boom, straight into the skin. <clears throat> and I'm going to sit, go sit down next to my wife and watch a friend of ours who's going to be on TV. So I'm going to put a perfume on. Or do, or do toilet. Night music. Let's see, try not to get on the clothes too much. Hmm. There you go. It's such an interesting scent. Yeah, and... Uh, that's it. I clean up. Okay, we can, we can, it's going to be long this one. We can talk about cleaning up as well. I'm not going to take the camera down and show you everything because that's going to be, I don't I can't get a good angle. So I take this thing. This is the most important when it comes to cleaning. It's rinsed off so there's, I can't see any, any 
traces of soap. Take a normal towel, wipe it like this. So you've got to be careful about the edge, but I do wipe the edge too. It's just you go across and then that's fine. You're not doing anything bad to it. And it's careful, it's clean enough. Carefully rinsed it. I do the same thing again. I hate watermarks and dirt left on the blade. So I rinse twice and I wipe it till it's pretty perfect. There you go. Then what I do, and you all have to trust me, I go to the strop, I take the textile side, you can take the leather side too, but I have the textile side, which is nice and pretty. It's cotton, I think. And I do a few laps, like nine for some reason. And I do this to make absolutely sure that the edge of the blade is clean and dry. No water, no dirt or anything. Then I take a piece of toilet paper, because that's a, a good size. I fold it once or twice, depending on what the scale looks like, look like. Now, I know I have no water in it, but I do this anyway, just to, I, I put the tissue between the scales so I can go back and forth and make sure nothing wet is in there. And that's a nice way of keeping the, the area between the, the scales clean too. And then I wipe the blade off. So I do the wiggly thing to get all most of the steel. Blade's already, oops, blade's already good. So I do the, fuck, do the front. Um, I do the, the top, I fold it so I can fit it between the scales, so I can go in between. And this is a, this is a routine I do every time, because then, you know, that keeps the razor clean. I do the same thing on the other side, and voila. And I try not to put fingerprints on it, because fingerprints will, will make it dirty. Voila. And I just wipe the scales off. The one like that. Very good. Uh, then I rinse the brush and the soap. Uh, soap is a bit tricky. With, with the soap, if it's in a container, I typically pour water in it and work the brush around it because that makes it perfectly clean. But this one is okay just to rinse off and then I'll let it dry. Take the brush <coughs> and you know, the water is already up where the glue is because that happens every time. So I may as well get it soaking wet. So um, I'm holding it like this. I'm pouring water in between the, the hairs. I'm putting my fingers in, massaging it a bit, making sure everything comes out. And voila. And then I squeeze it. So it's pretty dry. I take it to the to the shower cabin, and I can you see? No, you can't. I I don't even know what the word is, but I bang it like this. My English is sometimes very funny. Then the handle's got to be dry, and and this needs to be drier. Now I beat mine up pretty badly, actually. Even natural hair brushes. Um, the, the general wisdom is that a, a synthetic knot you can beat up pretty, pretty, pretty badly. But I do it with these too. Look, you know, I'm splaying that quite a bit. You're not supposed to do this. I do because I want them to get dry enough. And this one in particular won't get dry unless I do this. Yeah. So you want it to look like it did when you started off started off the drying on a towel doesn't only take out water it takes out dirt too like is when you wash your hands most of the effect from washing your hands is not the water and the soap it's drying shit off the towel so that looks pretty good then i have one stand only 
and I put it in there upside down because you're supposed to and then it can dry there for 24 hours until uh, it's time for uh, for the next one and the, yeah that's pretty much it that was a shave all the way through good thing I paused um, I even had dinner in between <laughs> to be perfectly honest I was really hungry and dinner was ready so you didn't have to see that but uh, yeah I don't know hope you hope it was almost like behind the scenes not quite but almost one day maybe behind the scenes okay I'm less bored now that's very good I'm gonna go down watch television with uh, my better half I'll see you soon thanks for watching stay sharp